Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And if you're like me and have a child, I have a five year old son that always uses my iPad or my iPhone. And because he always wants to play video games and I want him to do educational games. Uh, when I give him the iPad and I tell him, hey, do your ABC mouse. And he does his ABC mouse, but then he's like, doesn't want to do it anymore. Press the home key and what happens? He goes and plays something else. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Apple has this cool feature called Guided Access that actually locks that particular app so he doesn't have to go anywhere else. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you want to go into Settings. And once Settings are up and running, you want to go into General. And within General, you want to go all the way to the option that says Accessibility. And once Accessibility, you want to go all the way down where it says Guided Access. By default, it's already turned off, so you guys want to turn it on slide that tab and then you're all set now if you have the latest and greatest OS uh, it gives you more options I think they, they give you a uh, option to set a time limit if you're running uh, iOS 8.1 there's another additional option at the bottom of set passcode that gives you uh, an alarm uh, but for this one I don't have it because I'm running a little older uh, version and that's it you're good so let's say uh, your son or your child you want them to only have access to, I don't know, let's say, uh, photos. You only want them to only have access to photos. So yeah, I just only want my son to have access to the photos within the app, to the album. So the way that you get the control is you double click, or actually triple click on your home key. So it's one, two, three. And it kind of zooms out, and then you're gonna see uh, a start button at the upper right corner, and a bunch of options like hardware buttons. If you don't want the person to uh, click on the home button, you could disable that or you can enable it. Volume control, sleep wake button. Uh, again, with iOS 8, it gives you more options. Uh, touch motion is up to you. So I'm gonna hit start, put a passcode, and let's uh, put the passcode of one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, just for this demonstration. And it is locked. Guided access is started. So let's say your child wants to press the home key. So I'm right now pressing the home key, and as you can see, guided access is enabled. You can't you can't do anything. To get out of it, just triple click, triple click it, put your passcode, make sure you remember your passcode, and just click on resume if you want to bring it back. I'm gonna do it again, triple and one, two, three, four, and let's uh, end it. Once you end it, you're out of it, you're basically able to press the home key and back. Now, another option that I like is uh, within Genuals, there's a restriction area. So let's go back and uh, believe, go back again. And within General, you go all the back on the bottom, it says restrictions. Now, restrictions is another more advanced option that kind of blocks sites and other things that you want to do. Uh, so here, let's hit restriction. By default, it's off. But if you enable it, let's put a password of one, two, three, one, two, three, four, right? It, these are all the apps that it's automatically allowed when you have restrictions enabled. Uh, if you don't want your child to have access to Safari because you don't want them to surf any crazy sites, just check it off and they're not able to get into it. Uh, if you don't want them to get into installing apps. Now, my son loves purchasing apps, and especially if I purchase something and he takes it. He automatically has access to just start downloading stuff. So let's say I want to disable iTunes Store, right? Or installing apps. Or I don't want him to get camera. Uh, by turning off the camera, you would turn off FaceTime. So I want to turn that off too, right? And now at the very bottom, you got allow content. This is all up to you. I can't really tell you what to use, but it really is up to you how badly you want to restrict your iPad or your iPhone from your child getting access to it. Uh, if you go to websites, as you can see, allow websites. You got all websites, which is checked off. You got limited adult content and then specific only websites. From here, you can add a website. Let's say you don't want your kids. Let's say you don't want your kids to go to Facebook.com. Add Facebook.com and then you're good to go, right? Uh, so let's go back. So I'm actually gonna put that back to all restricted. And uh, privacy, you got privacy settings, allow changes. So there's so much that you guys could go over and just restrict your ch your children to not do uh, a lot of stuff. I think I disabled Safari. So let's go go back and yep, let's go back. 
and uh, let's say I don't even have the Safari icon. I don't have FaceTime. I don't have none of that stuff. It's just completely gone. So yeah. So if I go back into Safari and I go into restrictions, I put my passcode, and let's turn on my Safari, my camera, my FaceTime, my iTunes, installing apps, and it's basically what I did. And let's go back, and as you can see, all those apps are back. So I think it just hides it. As long as the child doesn't know the passcode, they won't be able to get it back. But that's it, guys. That is a way that you're able to kind of lock your iPhone or iPad device from your child for those you know, curious little kids that just want to go into your iPad and just poke around with all the stuff. I know I have a child that does that all the time. If you guys have any tips or tricks on how to restrict your iPad or any other tips and tricks for your iPad or iPhone, Leave it at the bottom of the comment section. Don't forget about hitting those like buttons because the like buttons does support the video a lot as well as it helps this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.